Compassionate Neighbours project is making a real difference to people's lives in the community. These are people that are lonely and or socially isolated. The project's recruited over 100 people now and these are volunteers that have trained to become Compassionate Neighbours and are going out each week to be with these people and making a real difference and combating loneliness and social isolation. I found time tended to get rather long in afternoons. Um, there's lots of things I ought to do at my age, but I can't do it. I've become a compassionate neighbour because um, in September I found myself feeling a bit low when my daughter returned to school and my husband's work and I'd just finished a big photography job so I found I had a lot of time on my hands and nothing to do. When she came, it brought things to life that I'd forgotten about and we did things that I got my books out, I got my software out and I was almost born again in, uh, in having an objective. Oh, there's magic in the match in there because Dennis um, has the same interest in, as I do in photography. So rather than me just being a visitor, he's actually been my teacher. So I go around weekly and have weekly lessons in Photoshop, which has been amazing. And it's lovely to talk to somebody who, with somebody that has the same passion as I do. I've got the original of this where she wrote that on there to say that she loved me. And that was before we got married. And as I say, Love, I'm afraid, doesn't last forever. But it was fun while it lasted. I would say that meeting a young person has made me feel younger. We absolutely love it. I've got a, a lady who never got out of bed for three months after she retired from work. She was retired because of ill health. She said, I've changed her life totally. And that makes me so happy. Um, and just helping people is wonderful. It's a fantastic project. I was asked by Jeanette, would I like a compassionate neighbour? And I did stipulate on the form, though, that it had to be a Chelsea supporter. So the first thing he did, he brought me a load of Chelsea supporters uh, programmes, didn't you? Yeah. That uh, is brilliant. You know? <laughs> so that kept me busy for a while. And since then, I've struck up more than just a compassionate neighbour. I believe I've struck up a friendship. It's, it's been good for me. It's got me out of the house. Uh, I'm meeting new people, made new friends, like Damien and Brian, my community members, and also my colleagues now. I mean, uh, my other compassionate neighbours, you know, like Paul, Patsy, obviously the boss, Jeanette, and you could go through them all. And also the professionals, I'll get a chance because I go with Damien to the Hawthorne Centre to see them in action and uh, uh, they're quite awe-inspiring. They put so much thought into what they're doing and you just see the way they work, you know, the likes of Sarah and Diane and Dawn and, well, you could go on and on and uh, I, I just, I've got so much out of it. So basically it's, it's been good for me and hopefully it's been good for the people I've met. Family tend to know all the answers and the true answers are from somebody you don't know because they're looking from the outside in and they will give you the truth. We come along on Monday morning greeting everybody with a smile. We come along on Monday morning knowing it's all worthwhile. The end. <laughs>